Okay, got a little bit of a late start this morning. I don't know if y'all have ever had to Google why your dog smells like corn chips, but I have. And turns out it's because of Pseudomonas. Douglas has been having skin issues for the past like two months now. He's gone to the vet twice. Both times they told me it's allergies and to put him on Apoquil. He's been taking his Apoquil every single day. But tell me why he is looking like George Costanza up in this bitch. Like why is my dog balding? Why does he look like he has the mange? So I did a little researching. I googled it and it turns out there's like a bacterial like yeast situation like they just get from like going out into the wilderness and if they're susceptible to that kind of stuff, which Douglas is. So now I'm giving him baths every two to three days until it clears up with like the special shampoo. But it is a chore because Douglas does not like the water. So that's really been eating into my mornings. We are about to go and pop in there and get a workout in. Um, and also the contractors need to talk to me. So I will do that first and then we will work out. Look at this camera. We got some blur going on in the background, like a professional. I really don't know how I did that, honestly. I don't really know anything about cameras. I just twist the little thing and it happened. I really should learn since this is my job or whatever, but <laughs> we just play around, don't we? Sometimes we figure it out, sometimes things are bad. You know what would be even better for as far as quality goes if I didn't look like a sweaty sea monster, but what can you do? I'm waiting for my mom. She's gonna slap her ass in the car and we're gonna go pick out lights. Not from Lowe's though. So at least that's a change of pace. Going to an actual lighting store to get some pendant lights. One thing about home renovation is that it is probably a million and one little decisions pretty much every single day. And I am very prone to decision fatigue. So that's been really fun for me these past six months. <laughs> But one thing that has been easing some of my decision-making process has been the sponsor of this video, which is Green Chef. We're already a month and some change into the new year, and if one of your goals was to stress less about coming up with home-cooked meals that support a healthy lifestyle, Green Chef has you covered. They're a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that provides options for every lifestyle. No matter if you're keto, paleo, vegan, fast and fit, Mediterranean, or gluten-free. They deliver delicious chef-curated recipes to your doorstep that feature farm-fresh produce and organic, sustainably sourced ingredients. They'll save you time by taking care of the meal planning, grocery shopping, and most of the prep week after week. Personally, I've been using Green Chef for over two years now, and they've helped me skip the drive through elevate my cooking skills, and my palate. So if you're interested in trying out Green Chef for yourself, you can use my code Beatrice60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Again, for 60% off plus free shipping, you can use my code Beatrice60 at checkout. Go to greenchef.com for more details. Huge thank you again to Green Chef for sponsoring this video. I actually postponed my Green Chef orders for a month this month because I'm doing the 30 days of no fast food challenge and I wanted to find a bunch of new recipes. I also didn't want to just show you meal kit meals every single day for that because 
because I know a lot of people are like looking for food inspo and stuff and I just want to like build up my repertoire of recipes so yeah a little disclaimer about that but like if you are curious what I'm eating every single day you can find that on the shorts tab on my channel because I've been uploading every single day just like quick little dirty food vlogs let's go get some lights the lighting store that I wanted to check out had apparently been closed for four years. So we decided to check out an antique store, which I don't know what I was thinking because it was honestly just way too fancy and expensive for my aesthetic. And walking through there, I felt like I was going to break things by just looking at them. But there was a cute little shop dog there that we patted that was definitely worth the trip. So no lights today. Just going to have to look on order something online. This morning I was experiencing a solid case of the gloom and doomies. And we're trying to turn the day around. I got a coffee. I made a healthy breakfast, just my normal pancake scramble. If you're wondering why it's green, I also added a handful of spinach. You can't taste it. But just solid hopelessness because I stepped on the scale this morning and gained weight. Which I don't understand because normally I don't have a problem losing weight. I'm usually like, if I'm doing good, then it reflects on the scale. You could see on my shorts, like what I've been eating. And one day I like barely ate anything because I ended up like sleeping most of the day. So I, I don't know. So last night I came up with a plan of attack and the details are not all ironed out, but I'm gonna tell you what I was thinking while I was sitting there ruminating last night in the middle of the night. So in the beginning of the year, I made a video and I was expressing that I wasn't really happy with the progress that I've made thus far. And a lot of you were super sweet and you were reassuring me like, hey, you have lost weight. You have been working out consistently all year. Like even though your eating habits may not have been like 1000% perfect, I was still doing things to better my health. And I was thinking about why I felt that way and why I still do and I realized it's not necessarily a weight loss issue like yes that's part of it and my difficulty recently in like losing weight is kind of more indicative of there being some kind of underlying thing that I need to take care of I think anyway because the issue is I don't feel good like physically I don't feel good it used to be back in the day I would take just a single day getting my water in eating balanced and working out and I would feel like the pinnacle of health but that's just like not the case anymore and and something has been feeling like off for quite a while. Thinking back to everything, like trying to figure out what's wrong, I think my hormones are off and maybe like my gut microbiome. I don't know. So when I was going through the thick of my panic derealization episode, I was being bounced around on a lot of meds. Some really intense stuff. Antipsychotics, anti-anxiety meds, like a bunch of different stuff before I actually suggested to them after reading the book The Body Keeps the Score like hey I want to be put on SSRIs and that's the med that I eventually landed on that helped me start feeling better but anyway so that was like a lot for my system to take I got my hormonal IUD removed I was going through a tremendous amount of stress and before that episode even took place they were bouncing me around on a bunch of different ADHD meds like every single month so I just think my system has endured quite a bit and it hasn't necessarily gone back to normal because I've been feeling like way more exhausted than normal. Some days are really bad where I lose entire days because I just sleep. Really irritable and like moody for no reason. Been having a lot of stomach and bowel issues. Not to mention I feel bloated and swollen a lot of the time. Like my neck like hurts right now and it feels swollen in my lymph node area and my stomach. Even though like I'm in the 220s now, I feel like my stomach is bigger than it was. It just feels bloated and distended a lot of the time and I'm like, I don't know what's going on with me. But I was just feeling so down yesterday and this is the first time that I felt just completely hopeless like there was no hope to better my health and that's when I went on a whole rabbit hole last night about hormones and gut health. I'm just going to try to reset my system, re-regulate my nervous system, all of that good stuff. My hypothesis is that if I fix that stuff the weight loss thing will just kind of be a secondary thing that happens along with that. I don't know what any of my hormone values are at currently. I'm completely guessing just based off of how I feel. Not that I haven't tried to get labs done. I was downright begging. I went to my primary doctor and asked to get labs done. They said I had to go to a gynecologist to request that. I went there and I was like tearing up pleading with this lady at the time because I was I was just trying to like figure it out. I was really going through it at that 
that time, I wanted to know my hormone values so that I could have some kind of direction of what was going wrong with me because things were going really wrong with me and they were trying to put me on all these like antipsychotics and like all of this stuff. And it was really scary for a while. But my gyno wouldn't run the labs because she said that the values of what's considered normal are just such a wide range, which I guess I get, where it would be kind of pointless because it wouldn't tell us anything. But at the same time, I don't know, for her just to be like not even willing to try it, but then all gung-ho to just throw a bunch of pills at me. I don't know. Um, um, but I'm kind of on one about like the whole healthcare system anyway, just because like everything that's going on with my grandpa. They literally put a do not resuscitate bracelet on him when he's not DNR. Anyways, I'm not going to go on a whole rant about that because <laughs> I could. So my fleeting faith in the healthcare system aside, I am going to just be going rogue. I'm going to be researching using myself as my own guinea pig because I literally have nothing left to lose. I'm just kind of like at the end of my rope and I just want to start feeling better. I don't know, I just never felt this hopeless about it when it comes to that kind of stuff. I kind of just feel like it's my last stitch effort. I'm gonna try to balance my hormones. I'm gonna try to eventually wean myself off of the antidepressant that I'm taking because hopefully I can resolve it with lifestyle changes. And I'm not bashing medication at all. Don't get me wrong, like the SSRI that I'm on currently literally saved my life. And it helped me take the edge off to realize like, hey, this whole feeling that I'm having right now, the anxiety, the derealization, like it's not, it just helped me put everything into perspective. But that being said, I think that whole episode that I went to was trying to like clue me in, like it's the equivalent of like the check engine light coming on in your car. And sometimes I feel like the medication is just disconnecting the wire to that check engine light and not really opening up the hood. So I'm going to be doing some heavy research today, kind of solidifying some things, figuring out which direction I want to take, and then starting as soon as possible. Like, I'm not going to spend too much time researching before I start jumping into things. You're going to see me, like, doing stuff, trying to figure it out. I'm not necessarily saying anything I'm doing is the right way. That's never... I never want to be, like, an authority on any issue. I'm just literally a person trying to figure out things for myself and documenting it. All that aside, I just want to thank you for watching. Sorry we ended on a little bit of a downer note. It's just how I'm currently feeling, but there is like a shred of hope left in the tank. So that's positive. Other than that, I just hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!